surface anatomy of the maxillary ear sinus. This is infraorbital margin. This is the medial end of the infraorbital margin. Here is the first point and bony landmark is lacrimal tubercle. It is the junction between frontal process of the maxilla with lacrimal bone. Second point on the lateral end of the infraorbital margin and bony landmark the junction between the zygomatic process of maxilla and maxillary process of zygomatic bone. The third point on the alveolar process just about the third molar teeth and the fourth point on the alveolar process just above the second premolar teeth. This is the third point just above the third molar teeth on the alveolar process and this is the fourth point on the alveolar process just above the second premolar teeth. Let's do the, do the sinus on a face. First point, second point, third point, fourth point and join this line. This is the maxillary sinus. Anatomy of the maxillary sinus. This is MRI scan and you see this is the maxillary sinus with thickened mucosa. Maxillary sinus has three wall, roof, floor and the base. Roof is separated from thin plate of bone by the inferior wall of the orbit. The floor is composed by the alveolar process of the maxilla and the base is the portion of the lateral wall of the nasal cavity. So this is the wall of the lateral nasal cavity and this is the base of the maxillary ear sinus. Some related question and answer. Which sinus of the body is the largest maxillary ear sinus and it is the first paranasal sinus develop and it is lined by the pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium, function resonance of the voice, lightening of the weight of the bones and which morphological type of bones contain sinuses, pneumatic bone and the maxillary sinus is present within the maxilla. Maxilla is a pneumatic bone. It drains into the middle matters of the nose through the semilunar hiatus. So, this is the a depressed area. This is known as the middle meatus. It is situated in the lateral wall of the nasal cavity. And this depressed area has an elevated area. This is known as the bulla ethmoidale. Just below the bulla ethmoidale, this is the hiatus semilunaris. And here, maxillary ear sinus is open. So, the opening of the maxillary uh, opening actually is a very big one, but it is reduced by some bony structure. And the bony structure is uncinate process of the ethmoid, the infranasal concha, the palatine bone and part of the lacrimal bones helps to reduce the maxillary hiatus. How dental infections spread into the ma maxillary sinus? You see, a the floor of the maxillary ear sinus is very close to the uh, root of the teeth. So, any infections of the root of the teeth easily spread into the maxillary sinus. The volume of the maxillary ear sinus is 10 ml. Now the innervation of the maxillary sinus, the mucus may be received their mucomotor postganglionic parasympathetic nerve fiber from the pterygoparatine ganglion. Pterygoparatine ganglion is attached with the maxillary nerves and from this pterygoparatine ganglion, the postganglionic fiber 
is innervate the mucosa of the maxillary sinus. But the superior alveolar nerves, the branch of the maxillary nerves, provide sensory supply to the maxillary ear sinus. So this is all about maxillary ear sinus. If you like this video, please press the like button and please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.